So we're going to be working on a little report and adding in some MLA formatting. So we're going to go to File and Open. I'm going to click on Browse, and we do want to be looking in our Word S3 folder. And we are looking for FCT Middleton Report, which is right here. And we're going to enable the editing, and then we're going to go to File and Save As. And we're going to adjust the name a little bit and put a three and a dash at the beginning. Still saving it into Word as three. And they would like this to be formatted uh, to conform to MLA. So we're going to press Control and A to highlight everything. And then they would like us to change the font to Cambria and 12 point. Now with everything still highlighted, we are going to change the line spacing to double. And with everything still highlighting, highlighted, we need to remove the extra spacing after the paragraphs. So we could go into line spacing and tell it to remove the space after paragraph here. Or we can go into layout and change after to zero. Okay. Either way, you end up with the same result. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of click in our document. And we're going to press Control and Home to get to the very top. And this is where you're going to key in your own first and last name. And you're going to press Enter. Uh, and then you're going to do the instructor name. So this is going to look really strange. Um, I'm going to be keying my name in again. And then you're going to press Enter. Uh, the title of our course. And then you're going to key in today's date. And so it is February. Let me put a little space in there. And because this is a short report, we do need to have a heading. And so we are going to, there's a couple different ways you can insert a heading. We're going to go into the insert ribbon. And we're going to go to header and choose edit header. Now you could have just double clicked up in the header box. Okay, that's the same thing as going into header and choosing edit header. And what we want is uh, the page number over on the right hand side. And you can actually move your cursor over there and double click. You could also press tab two times. And we are going to be inserting a page number at that current position. Um, first we're going to key in the student last name, which should be your last name, and a space. And then where it's got page number, we're going to click. We're going to choose current position. And we're just going to choose plain number. Now, if you click before, before the number, you will see that it is a placeholder. So it will increase when we go from one page to the next. Now, to make the text in the header match the rest of the document. We're going to press Control and A. And then we're going to go back to the home ribbon. We're going to key in Cambria, which is the font that we used for the body. And then we're going to change the size to 12. And that should not wrap down to the next line. So let me delete and we'll try pressing tab twice. Nope. Let me write a line. Okay, so if you have a little issue like I did, what I want you to do 
It's kind of delete. And then you can try right aligning. Now, if you press tab twice and it looks good, you can keep it there. Otherwise, right aligning will work. So at this point, we're done with our header. So I'm going to double click in the body. And we're going to move on to entering some of our citations. Now, the text already exists, so we have to find the correct location in the text to put the parenthetical citation. So the first one is going to go after the word constructed, which is in the second paragraph, and it's the fifth sentence. So it's right here. So we're going to click right after that word before the period. And then we're going to go into references. And we're going to go down to insert citation. And this is a brand new source. So we're going to click on add new source. And this feature in Word is very powerful. And it's not too difficult to use as long as you know what your source is. And for the first one, we're going to do it as a journal article. So when we change that, it displays the entry areas that we should fill in. And you don't even have to fill in all of the entry areas. So for the author, we're going to key in Joanne Henderson. And then to get down to title, you can press tab. Probably have to press it a couple times. And then for the title, it is Natural Resources of Middleton Valley. And then we're going to press tab. The journal name is Planet Earth's Resources. And we're going to go, going to go down to year and key in 2018. Uh, for pages, it is 7 through 9, so it is 7-9. And we do not need to fill in the medium. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And what you're going to notice is that Henderson, the author's last name, is placed in the text as a parenthetical citation. And when I move the mouse over it, you'll notice it's grayed out. That indicates that this citation is connected to a source. And that is precisely what you want. Now we're going to add another one. Uh, this one is going to come after the word century. Uh, and so this is going to be in the third paragraph uh, around sentence number three. And so we're going to click right before the period. And we're going to insert citation. And this is also going to be add new source. And for the type, this is a website. You have to kind of scroll down and choose website. And for some reason, when they display the entry area for a website, they don't show you all of the fields. So we actually have to turn on show all bibliography fields. And then you can see there's quite a few more. And so you're going to want to make sure that you always remember to turn that on. Uh, for the author, his name is Daniel Marcello. Uh, for the name of the page, we have Middleton Regional Planning Department. And the year is 2018. Month is January. Day is the fifth, so five. Okay, and then 
we have the year that it was the page was accessed. So we're going to put in the current year. And we're going to have the month accessed. And we're going to put in the current month. And the day, you are going to put in whatever today is for you. And then the last thing we have to fill in is the URL. So we're going to key in emcp.org slash Middleton. And then we're going to click OK. And again, you are going to see the author displayed. And so for the two that we've entered so far, we had to add a new source. For the next one, um, it is a citation, but it's another citation from the Henderson source. So we don't have to add Henderson again. So we're going to move our insertion mark right after the word erosion. And this is in paragraph four. We can find erosion. Right after the double quote there, we're going to move our insertion mark. And because we've already entered this citation, we're still going to click on insert citation, but we already entered Henderson. So we're just going to go ahead and select it. Okay, and then that puts the author's name right in there. Now, because this is a direct quote, okay, you'll see that it's in double quotes, um, we have to include the page number. So we're going to have to edit this citation. We're going to click on it, and that's going to give us a list arrow. We're going to click on the list arrow, and then we're going to choose Edit Citation. And the page we got this from is page 8. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and enter an 8 and click OK. And then that tells us the author and the page we got it from. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and save our changes.